Lynn is Sun. Yeah, that's me. The girl on the internet that shows the world what she eats. She talks about body positivity, listening to your body, and is always happy, obsessed with her dog, and eats an aggressive amount of peanut butter. Completely accurate, most of the time. You see, I haven't really shared with you the bad thoughts or the bad days, because oh my, this summer has had its ups and downs, and a lot of up and down planks too, but this summer has also like shaped me into the Linda Sun that you know, a better me, because of all of you. See the hype? This is disgusting. YouTube kind of became my life journal this summer, and so for today's journal entry, I'm just gonna be sharing a few random thoughts and random moments during this last week of freedom. So recently, I've actually developed a very unhealthy obsession with salads. Yeah. There has to be chicken and sweet potato on it or I won't eat it, but I'm not kidding when I say I literally dream about this salad. I know in all my videos I say to listen to your body and satisfy your cravings and I practice intuitive eating, but in reality I'm still trying to practice what I preach because sometimes I still feel guilty and tell my body no because of those silly thoughts in my head. Unfortunately, I think it's just a really normal thing to not trust our own cravings anymore. But instead of listening to those thoughts, I'm now trying to listen to my body, ignore what people tell me, how I should look, how I should eat, how I shouldn't exercise like I do, and just do what feels right for me. Always work in a little bit of what I love into my daily routine, whenever my body wants it. Good morning. It's time to work out. I'll work out four times a day if that's what my body wants, I'll eat lettuce and cake if that's what my body wants, but yeah, this version of me wasn't always me. But I'm proud to say that I do eat cake now, and a life where I allow myself to eat is a happier life for me. So what I learned, <laughs> I'm gonna eat that freaking slice of cake. <laughs> Story for today. Yeah. Are you gonna give it to me or not? Gotten out of Costco. You spray everything and we put it in this box. So I thought this would be the perfect time to thank Fetch Rewards for sponsoring today's video. Fetch Rewards is an incredible app that helps you save money while buying all your favorite foods like peanut butter and pancakes and cereal. <laughs> now that just sounds like a Linda app to me. I always get so many comments being like, how expensive is your grocery bill every week? Because you eat so much peanut butter, you buy so many fruits, and like the amount of bananas your family must go through is ridiculous. Yes, you are not wrong. The grocery bill can be aggressive at times. So what my family does to save some money while supporting my peanut butter and Ben and Jerry's addiction is using Fetch Rewards anytime we grocery shop or stock up on peanut butter. With Fetch Rewards, you can save every single time you purchase one of Fetch's thousands of participating products and brands from literally anywhere, convenience stores, grocery stores, drug stores. All you do, scan the receipt to collect points, and once you get enough points, you redeem them for a reward. And that is my favorite part. With Fetch Rewards, you have access to hundreds of rewards, including gift cards from the most popular stores and online retailers and you can also use them for charitable donations. Basically, the more you scan, the more rewards you get. The thing my mom loves about Fetch is that the process only takes seconds and it's so simple to understand because the app makes it so easy. Me and my mom both are not the greatest at technology, but Fetch makes it easy for technology noobs like us. <laughs> so if you guys want to save some money, totally go download the app and use the code LINDA, L-I-N-D-A, to get 2,000 freaking points when you scan your first receipt. Everything will be linked in the description for you guys so we can get cheaper bananas and peanut butter and maybe even some free popcorners. Who doesn't want free popcorners? Welcome to my grocery haul. Unsweetened almond milk, olive oil, <gasps> asparagus, Japanese sweet potato, kale. What is this map? Something fermented cabbage. One, two, three blueberries. My mom said my dad and I fight over the blueberry. Cauliflower. Chicken breast, mushroom, banana. It's actually freaking delicious, so. We got two tubes of some type of tofu. Broccoli, cherry tomato, mini cucumbers, because they're better than the larger ones. Rika. Oh, this time we got vanilla. So. Strawberry, two dozen eggs, three, four, four dozen eggs, multiple garlics. My parents literally just eat garlic by the cloves. I don't know, do you guys do that? I feel like that's not normal. Where's the peanut butter? We stock up on peanut butter. Like I have like four tubs of it. So it's probably gonna last me like five days maybe. This is why I work out. Hello. Any other girl, but it's you I'm dreaming about. Any you know around your lunch? As long as you guess. It's something that I eat not so often. You I'm dreaming about. Anything at all, but it's you. Oh, oh, good. Oh, my God. So sweet.
sweet. It's like better than candy. Look at all the beans. Oh my god, it's so good. My goodness. <laughs> I also am obsessed with kale now, like I eat this four times a week. Kale is an amazing vegetable that deserves more recognition. Delicious! Mm. Anyways, I also want to take this time to thank you guys for always reminding me who I am and why I'm doing what I'm doing because sometimes, you know, I forget. You guys are honestly the funniest, kindest, sweetest human beings ever and I don't know what I did to get so lucky. So thank you. I'm sending you guys all virtual pancakes right now. See you tomorrow. It's been a long day. My eyes hurt. Good morning, everyone. Let's do this. Strange. Oh. We're eating like Sydney Cummings. Sit. Hey, never mind. <laughs> Get it, ma. Some nights you just want to relax, watch Netflix, eat ice cream. So never in my life would I have thought that I would be posting videos about food or showing thousands of people my body and ugly workout face. I always thought I never looked healthy or toned or skinny enough to do that. But with all your support, I now see that healthy is not a body type. It's your mentality, happiness, friendships, and relationships, accepting and appreciating what you have and wanting to be better. My body may not show it, but I feel healthier than ever. I realize you can't really define health and can't really determine health from a few videos. <laughs> Holy God. I know, I may look like I have the healthiest relationship with exercise and food and have the healthiest mindset, but we're all working towards health, whatever that means for you. And if I'm gonna be completely honest, I have no idea if what I'm doing is right, but I've started to accept that maybe there is no right. Take a break from editing and listen to some new music. <laughs> Oh yeah. Oh my god. What's up, buddy? You really into that bone? Come on. What? That's some good melon. Cheers. No pain, no gain. Good morning, Father. Good morning. Good morning, Milo and Ma. Let's work. We mix it all together. Delicious. There's a flood out there. This is what a video looks like. I need to pee and I'm hungry. I'm finally seeing people for the first time since March. Just take a moment. I haven't seen anyone in half a year. Oh. Mm. My dad's drinking this Asian. Mo Thai. Mo What? You look scary. Oh, is that even a mosquito? Yeah, it's my weekly vlog. It's uploading. So happy. Oh, good night. This is really weird that the mirror is right here. This is a very old concealer that definitely is expired and I need to throw out. So now that I look like a ghost, that's what you want. My friend got me this palette and I dropped it on the ground. Do contour until I'm happy with how dark I am. My brother's ex-girlfriend got it for me. Because <laughs> I have no eyebrows. This I actually got at a, what's the store called? A meat? I don't know, it was two dollar. I feel like a booty, booty guru, beauty guru. Eyelash killer. Kill my eyelashes and squeeze them to death. I used to be really self-conscious with walking out of the house without makeup on. I was like, you know what, screw it. I'm never gonna see these people again. I love my face. Sometimes I don't, but most of the time I do. You are unique and beautiful in your own way. Smell this bag. Mm, I am super picky when it comes to like bags. I want to do something that I wear anywhere. It's gonna last me forever. I found a really beautiful one, Teddy Blake. Like, 
So what attracted me to Teddy Blake was that they have really unique designs, they're maybe premium Italian leather, made in Italy, and they're pretty affordable for the quality. This little secret compartment, band-aids. You never know when you're just gonna start bleeding, so my contacts, post-it, and some gum. And what I love is that my wallet can fit into it. A granola bar, rosebud lip salve, I have a pen, I need something to write on that post-it note. I love this magnetic thing, even if your bag opens and someone is about to like, you know, snag something, they can't snag it. I will link it below for you guys if you want to check it out. Let's go! Yeah. Everyone okay. always asks me where I get all of my sportswear. 95% of the time it's Lululemon. The Ebb to Streetwear bra. I have two colors actually. Lavendery color. Maroony one. Go wild in the strappy open back yoga bra. Flow Y New Lou bra. I stumbled across this little boutique and it's called Happiness Boutique. They honestly have the cutest jewelry pieces I've ever seen. It's like super modern with a little vintage touch. The goal is just to like boost your mood, make you happier while wearing their jewelry. They actually plant a tree every single time you buy something from them, which is like crazy. So I literally just planted seven trees. This happiness looks gorgeous on you. Happiness looks gorgeous on you too. Anyways, I got this for one of my friends as well because I have these like big hoops, but I don't have these like small hoops. Only from the heart can you touch the sky. I don't even know what that means. I got this from my other friend who's having this like party and I thought she could wear this necklace. It's like a little gold, like a moon, a moon necklace. Little cute stars. Now I'm gonna make lunch and then I'm gonna go see a friend. Not the best thing I've ever eaten in my life. Hello! Goodbye, Linda! <laughs> We're making doggy treats for Milo. I'm worried by the way I've been living. I'm worried that you look at me different. I'm worried that this will all change. I'm worried about keeping you safe. What do you rate it out of 10? I'm worried that they never <laughs> gonna love me. I'm worried yes. that they never gonna love me. I'm worried that I don't have control. We're doing Caroline Gerb Gerb Gerbin. Low key nervous. Oh no, it's already getting hard. Oh, oh, oh. I literally love this. <laughs> okay, commitment issues. Lots of people have it, and I definitely do. Not just for people, but projects, passions, ideas. You know, I never wanted to fully dedicate my time, my heart to something or someone, because losing that hurts, failing sucks, disappointment is real, and not only did I never want to feel that, I never wanted people to see it. But honestly, f it. This summer I told myself, if this is what I'm passionate about, if I'm gonna make YouTube videos, if I'm gonna learn accounting, if I'm gonna eat my vitamin gummies every day, I'm gonna put my freaking heart into it, and you guys have shown me that it doesn't always have to end in heartbreak and disappointment. Hello! Oh, my butt. I'm wearing my new jewelry, Ma. Oh, that's so cute. Okay, we're going. Is that what you call? Uh, heirlooms? Oh, you're cute. Oh, my favorite. Oh, Whoa, potato. That's so cute! He grew this all himself! I don't even know what this is! Bro, this is a It's like Milo! It's like scratching himself! What's simpler in summertime 2016 When the sky was budding We was talking about dreams and the future Conversations in my backseat I actually thought I was gonna die. It was simple in summertime. So good. So I've been editing the entire freaking day. In the future, conversations in my back. Hey, chose an outfit. Oh, I kind of feel like Jesus. Just kidding. Why plague? Summertime 2016 when the sky was talking. Open your gift. <gasps> you <stay laughs> <with> <laughs> <me>? <laughs> <laughs> it's a 
so good. I recently came across a quote that said, there's no right time, there's just time and what you choose to do with it. And that really hit me because I realized before I would do anything, I would consider how people would judge me or react or how embarrassing it would be if I failed. I was afraid to love what I loved, but you have to be nervous and risk things and be hopeful. Bad flashbacks. Wait, walk into this party. Yeah. No, I don't know what's going on. And we never talked again. Well, like it needed to happen. There's no right time to take care of your body. There's no right time to recover, to begin working out, to start a YouTube channel, to tell someone you miss them or what they mean to you. <laughs> time is limited. And maybe it won't work out. Maybe I won't get elected as club president. Maybe my answer will be wrong and the class will laugh. Maybe I will get rejected by that cute boy. Maybe no one will watch my videos. Or maybe they will. Because this is it, guys. This isn't your practice life. This is all there really is. <laughs> I was gonna say this is much like taller than you. <laughs> Why do I just attract the most handsome, attractive looking men? Like with the best hairstyle. Oh my god, don't whack it, don't whack it. I don't know how to do with these. Oh. Linda, you can't whack it with your one. It's gonna come back. Oh my god, oh my god. Oh. See, I whacked it and then left. I'm not in the business. Oh, you actually hit it. You oh. It's me. Yeah. Oh my goodness, it's so cute. I love it. <laughs> love as long as you live. Happy to speak. <laughs> Don't put that in. So Cindy brought us some choco pie. Mm. Mm -hmm. That like just want good. Like you're just like a goodness bubble. No, you're good. Yeah, you're such. Okay. Nice to see you soon. Bye. So this internal battle I always have with myself, the pressure, the stress I put on myself, my body, and my actions, is it really for me or is it for others? I realize it's not selfish to love yourself, to take care of yourself, and to make your own happiness a priority. It's necessary. Take a break, hang out with yourself, with friends, let the people who leave you leave. Or just put the textbook down, put the computer away, go outside, sweat, see the world, breathe, and prioritize yourself for once. Because self-care isn't selfish. I can't wait for school to start. I'm super excited. That was a fail. Big fail. So I'm really bad at using like Google Calendar and stuff like that. Like I'm just not good with technology. I have to buy like the paper one. Got a huge ugly planner. I have scissors. I have way too many sticky notes at home, but I always buy more every year. <laughs> Oh, you gotta stab it, man! The balls are way better. Than this. Yeah, the balls are insane. Oh my goodness! These are literally the best things ever. Gluten free and vegan. Yeah. Oh shit! <laughs> Yay! The passion. Literally. Look how big it is. Deliciousness. Mm. Oatmeal chocolate chip. <laughs> Wow! Isn't this your like favorite? Mm -hmm. Cheers! Mm -hmm. I like it. I'm proud to say I lived this summer the best that I could. I wasted away years letting numbers and sizes and other people's opinions control me and bring me down, calculating every bite and movement and minute and goldfish cracker. Milo, dance with me! Was I sick? Was I healthy? It didn't matter because I thought that's how life had to be. And now I see that there's so much more that life has to offer if you choose to actually, you know, live. And I know, I know it's hard, but you have to just begin. Aw, oh, the song's over. No, it's not. So learn to dance by yourself, sing in the car, do what makes you happy, leave what makes you sad, ugly cry when you have to, and ugly laugh all the time. Love your own company, love your own jokes, love your own body, and love yourself first. Do we see that mosquito? I didn't get it! I didn't get it! I still didn't get it.